Praise the Lord, mighty prophet of the Lord. Well, uh, uh, praise the Lord, Pastor Faustin, my son. Now, the Lord has spoken with me. Exodus chapter 6, verse 2, defines the Lord Jehovah, the Lord Jehovah Adonai, the Lord God, the Lord Jehovah Eli, the Lord my God, the Lord Jehovah Elion, the Lord Most High, the God of Israel. He has spoken with me, uh, Pastor Faustin. And uh, I want your listeners to know that uh, in this conversation, he shows me this mighty visitation, the sign and wonder that has just taken place in Namibia, in Windhoek. But this time, he lifts me up above the planets, above all the space and the planets above, and he shows me how he beamed his glory from beyond the planets, beyond our space, where heaven is. And he beamed his pure, powerful white glory, and he targeted the sun. So the glory came all the way from out and pass through the space where there are planets. And then he directed it exactly to the dead center of the sun. He passed his own, his own glory through the dead center of the heat of the sun. And the glory came out through the other side and pointed at his servant where his servant was in Namibia. So he showed me how he beamed his glory from heaven and directly, intentionally, and deliberately targeted the sun, and the glory came out through the other side. Slowly by slowly, we are going to start to transition into the healing service here. And I want to say that we will worship a little bit. And then at a certain point, everything is going to change here. Amen. Everything will now change in this place. Amen. But this time, we are sitting on the verge of a major visitation. But the Lord is going to visit people here in a very major way. Everybody now, beginning from here, look at that. Now lift it. Oh! There is a visitation here. The glory of the Lord is here.
So, well, uh, I just want to say one thing, that this is a very unique generation that is tuned in, that is alive today. And this is really the time to be a born-again Christian. And where born-again means righteousness-seeking Christian, the holiness-seeking Christian, to turn away from all wickedness and sin, to turn away from the drunkenness of this world, the moral decay of this world, and prepare, because the signs are so clear in our eyes here that the Messiah indeed is coming that this generation is actually a blessed generation that has lived to see the latter glory and the latter most powerful visitation of the Lord. Again, he lifts me up above the planets and he shows me how he beamed his glory from heaven, which is way beyond the planets. And then the glory came through into the constellation of the planets and targeted the sun and pierced through the sun. And I saw the glory that came from outer space, enter into the space where there are planets, and pierce, target the sun, the dead center of the sun, and come out from the other side, and point at the exact location of the meeting where his servant, the mighty prophet, was holding a healing service in Namibia. So the second party shows me this. It was such a shocking moment uh, to behold at this hour. So the Messiah is coming. The message has been preached because it says, for without holiness, no one will see the glorious kingdom of God. This is the most powerful time to be a Christian because the Lord has come to help the church. God Almighty, God the Father, Jehovah Hashofet, Jehovah Hamelek, Jehovah Imehu, Jehovah Gala, Jehovah Shazev, Jehovah Miskabi, Jehovah Mephalti, Jehovah Masi, Jehovah Maoz, Jehovah Magen, Jehovah Seli, Jehovah Shalom, Shama, Sidkenu. He has come to help the church. He himself has come. So this is really the most powerful time in which to be a Christian because this is the only religion now that is a true religion whose God, the living God, is visiting them and doing such mighty wonders. The Messiah is coming. This is he about, about whom the scriptures write that I will send my messenger ahead of you to prepare you away. I will send you a messenger ahead of you to prepare you away. I will send my angel ahead of you to prepare you away. But do not rebel against him because he will not forgive your rebellion. The Messiah is coming. I have seen him take the church. Those who have ears, please. Listen to the voice of the Lord. Shalom.